In the eastern part of Oregon lies the awe-inspiring Steens Mountain, whose peak rises over 9,700 feet and spans more than 50 miles in width. Its grandeur is a sight to behold. The terrain here is rugged and untamed, marked by glacier-carved gorges that cut deep into the majestic mountainsides. From these heights, one can gaze out over the rocky sagebrush-covered landscapes that provide vital habitat for local wildlife, including elk, mule deer, and pronghorn antelope. For me, this is a place of cherished memories and a deep affection for the countryside. I've been an Oregon resident my whole life and uh, I've drawn an antelope tag one time. This is my second antelope tag I've ever drawn and uh, 16 years worth of waiting, 16 points and here we are in the beautiful Steens Mountains and uh, season opens tomorrow. 780. As I prepare for my second hunt for pronghorn antelope in Oregon, I'm struck by the bittersweet realization that this will likely be my last as a resident of the state. Having recently moved to Wyoming, I feel incredibly fortunate to return and cash in the 16 years worth of preference points that I've accumulated for this coveted tag as part of my resident cash out season. It's a fitting way to bid farewell to a place that has been an important part of my hunting journey. We got a decent buck here. He's with a, a younger buck, a smaller buck. Um, he's actually pawing and urinating in the ground right now. I'd say, I mean, I'm no antelope expert, right? I'm not a super great judge of antelope, but he to me is like a 13 inch type buck. Not, not a tiny buck, just, you know, just a nice kind of representative of what, you know, pronghorn would be out here. Uh, first morning, not, I'm gonna you know, kind of just hold off and see, you know, we can, I think we can find a buck like him later on and spend a little bit more time trying to dig up a little bit bigger one. 
The sprawling and varied topography found within this region presents an almost endless expanse of territory for the pronghorn to roam. From the sagebrush steppe and juniper groves of the lower elevations to the lofty heights of Steens Mountain, these nimble antelope make themselves at home at all altitudes. For us hunters, this means covering a vast expanse of terrain in search of a standout buck. It can be a daunting task with the feeling that we're searching for a needle in a haystack. But the thrill of the hunt and breathtaking beauty of this landscape make it all worth it. Day two of antelope season, and yesterday well, we saw about five bucks, less than 20 antelope total. We definitely saw more people than antelope, but that's hunting public land for you. So today we're gonna set out in a new zone. Second day, first envelope spotted. These guys, this group is about, I don't know, two miles away and a long ways around. There's a buck there. Is there? Bottom right. He has a lot of does with him. He does. And he's pushing them up the hill there. But I don't, I mean, he's a buck, but I don't take him as anything super yeah. Super impressive. But it's nice at least we're seeing some because it's been a real slow morning. There's one bedded and then the one standing. Yeah, in unison, that's pretty funny. <laughs> There's one at the same time, we're like rush into it. Yeah. Let's race to see who can find one first. <laughs> and then that's, we do it at the same time. That's good though, that's two, that's two animals. That might be two bucks. You want to just take this draw down, try to get closer and... He's on his right side, he's pretty heavy and kind of neat looking, but his left side's just... I mean, he's an antelope buck, he's, you know, probably... I don't know, I'm not going to age him, but he doesn't seem real old. And he's with another younger buck. Um, so, we just... Just keep looking, neither one of them are quite, you know, what we're hoping for. And it's only morning of day two. So uh, keep looking. We spotted what looked like a solid buck. It was like four miles away. I mean, it's so hard to tell, but when you can see a pronghorn, 
it's got good horns from that far away, it merits trying to possibly get a better look at them. So we are gonna head out here somewhere on a little adventure and if nothing else, we get to enjoy the beautiful, spectacular scenery here in Eastern Oregon of the Steeds Mountains. So um, it's breathtaking. Cools off quickly up here. Really cold. We spotted this herd of antelope. So we're going to, um, or what we've done is loop around behind them. And we're about just shy of two miles from them right now, but we're on a road closure. So we're gonna hike in the next couple of miles. Five hundred and eleven yards from where we're gonna turn off. Uh -huh. So close. Okay. Close, close. We're almost there. Good. There is a lot of feral horses in here and it looks to me like BLM has dumped literally hundreds and hundreds of horses out here and they have them fenced into this small area and they're just destroying everything. I mean it's the damage these horses are doing. They're just everywhere you look is horses, literally. We've seen today alone hundreds of horses and a handful of pronghorn and a couple of deer. It's a real problem. <sighs> I don't know. The wind was blowing down that basin up this one, but the antelope buck was over there. We should be okay. I think it's swirling. failure. We had bad wind. We knew we had bad wind. We were just hoping to get closer to get a look. It's hard to have patience when, I don't even know, we've looked at 15 bucks and I mean, what we're looking for is so hard to dig out just waiting on one. Just to, statistically you don't think it's going to be probably prob probable. <laughs> Number two, Yogi. Number two. Oh, there's the other one. There's three there. There's one standing there. There's the buck. There's the buck. There, there. Right here. Right here. I don't think he was very big. That was the buck. 
Well, you're not that small. Just when I thought, like, the gate was up, we were literally just 200 yards from them. They were still bedded. We jumped them up. Let's get out to this edge and just look. Maybe they ran. Was, there was some more does further out. Well, then they could just run and stop, and then we could right. maybe get a better look at them. We just spotted a really cool wide buck. Just went over this horizon, so we're gonna try to get up and get into position and maybe get a shot. He's definitely a cool buck. this tag the last time I had this tag and I had a buck feeding with four bucks and I shot the wrong one <laughs> and I really wanted to make sure that I didn't do that today Ooh, what a beautiful night <laughs> That's awesome. I love you husband love good shooting. yeah <sighs> that's crazy huh He's freaking massive. Yeah. Wow. He looks beautiful. What a cool buck. Yeah. We have looked at tons of bucks trying to find something that's unique. I mean, there's there's a lot of, you know, 13-inch bucks running around here and and they're nice bucks and I don't want to say anything bad about them, but this guy was a standout just because of how unique his horns are, they kind of point straight out. And he's got good, you know, cutters. They're a couple inches above his ears. He's not super strong on top, but he's got good massive bases. And uh, just really is a beautiful pronghorn. It's not one in this unit you pass. Beautiful yeah. buck. And it's, you know, I just am so thankful that this hunt worked out. And, you know, this is our, our cashing out season here in Oregon. And um, 
this will be the last time I get to hunt pronghorn here. Uh, it's a 16 year draw and uh, I get to go home with a beautiful buck. I'm feeling extremely blessed and thankful for the miles that you've been willing to put on with me for yeah, this. it's been fun. Yeah. Eastern Oregon is a land of unparalleled beauty and natural wonders. To rediscover this untamed terrain has been an incredible experience. And as someone who once called this place home, this buck represents a momentous occasion and a hunt that I will always cherish. My resident Oregon antelope points have been successfully cashed out. For more Pursue the Wild, jump behind the scenes with us for our new lifestyle digital series, Our Wild Life. And make sure to tune into our podcast, Wild and Uncut. We appreciate you being part of our journey.